from Formula C. Uh, we can also take him to over 1.7 followers. David van der Kozo uh, has got 252 uh, followers. David must live here with at least over 400 followers, guys. Let's follow on this part. This part has got 254. We can also upload her. Ash 1033. So let's start with the top five, guys. Let's start with those top five gift cards. Please follow them and come and comment. Done. Let me check Brenda's gift cards. Zana is still there. Umazon is still there. Queen Abeba. Matsepo, Tesh, Ketin, Tate, Maziboko, and Jason. Hajax, Melo, the Provoker. Lazi, Kasisi, Masingo, Tlenfela, Kawe Kazi, Nunsi, Greenest, and Vamfundis. Thank you guys for all those gifts. We Thank appreciate you. them. It's Carlos Ami. Good evening, brother. Good evening, brother. Good evening, The panel, to Melang, to the listeners. Hello, Skal Sam. Okay, Kupa the ladies first before I can start. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> I love a, a weed. Hello. I'm going to start there. And then, secondly, ladies, um, uh, 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 I just want to say uh, if if you are dating or you've got a similar partner, it's one of the this busiso. you are dating a ticking timing bomb. Um, if you cannot uh, calm your partner down before even the situation escalates further, you know, which means you can't even be near your man. Before even withdrawing the, 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 um, the firearm, you are dating a ticking timing bomb. I'm going to just start there. And then, uh, you know what, Bratin, I've been hearing a lot of our black brothers saying, you know, um, I don't know which law says that, but I've been hearing it the whole week on the other lives and I was like you yeah. yeah but uh anyway uh but then I'm gonna share my story before uh, after ne? I just want to tackle mm -hmm. this case remember those two those two guys uh they are their mandate is to enforce the law both of them is to enforce the law and what happened there? Did they enforce the law, both of them? Who who enforced the law between the two? I'll just wait for the, you know, maybe someone will just answer because of I don't know. And then secondly, when you with, when you withdraw a firearm, you've got two options. It's either you attack or you defend yourself. Those are the two options when you withdraw a firearm. Attack or defend. So if we go to, you know, common common law of defense, number one, it allows a person to use reasonable force, right? And I hear people saying, yeah, but um to wule, you know, with six bullets. But the law doesn't say how, how many bullets. It only says reasonable force. Secondly, you defend yourself because of you are you, you you are preventing the attack from the other person. That is why you are defending yourself. You can't just defend yourself if you are not being attacked. And then you are defending your you can defend your property or you are defending your property. You know, yeah. property it can be, you know, uh, uh only the bill of rights very the um what do they call it um uh the 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 right to life it can 
you, you can be you can fall under a property a right to life you can defend uh, there's a case that's currently going on go usa e n w n nearly case i don't know if Martin, you are following that case uh no that, yes it's also interesting whereas this guy because of one of them stole his, yeah. his sneakers so so <laughs> so the guy is def was defending his property you know so uh, 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 and then and then the, the the other issue here when you are defending yourself the guy the legal system across south africa it's simple you need to find alternatives if your life is been threatened is either you go to the police or you go to the court right mm. but, yes. but those alternatives they were not available at that time for the sub sky and and the law it also says that if those two alternatives they are not available it permits you to act to defend yourself as the last resort you know and that guy his last resort was to his life was in danger his last resort was to let me do whatever that i need to do to defend my life because of my life was at stake here so the court they, mm. to go to the police station and open the case it was not an option to go to the court it was not an option he had to make a decision right there right yeah and then the the the, the, the I, I just want to, yes i think there i'm done i just want to share my story i'm just gonna take one minute you know what Pratin and uh brand i was hijacked né? and oh. and while i was being hijacked uh you know kileka tswa kokoloing yaka and the guy was pointing a firearm gun but i would see who oh, guy this guy oh i can disarm this guy but let me just be calm and i disarmed this guy and and kamutunya right both legs and the shoulder right and when and you know when you're thinking hore uh ushabu there won't be anything against you you are defending yourself you know i was charged car attempt murder they said i was supposed to use my firearm the the problem or oh, let me just say the wrong thing that i did is that i used the the guy's firearm that was that was the i mean that case it trained me because of this said i used how I, I did not defend myself using my own ammunition i was defending myself using someone's ammunition and if i was using my own ammunition then you know uh, uh the one you know nitro sharp you know and 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 this thing and it has taught me okay uh, uh the law in all the loopholes and they will, they will you know it's there to be challenged it's not cast in stone that's, yeah, that's and then mean, what happened to what what happened to your case Rodemi, you, you know, his color must get it right. The reason he was charged was because he, the guy was no longer a threat. Uh, Escalo, when you disarm the firearm, you are no longer threatened, but you are now the threat. Yes, now, but now you are going to the guy. To help execute the guy. I, I was paralyzing the guy. The guy no, still alive. Remember, you <laughs> use lethal force based on the threat. So the lethal force you were using was not a, 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 a compar in comparison to the threat that you, you were facing. It was not at the same level. Shooting somebody carrying a knife 10 meters away is a prison sentence, whether it's in your property. Because that guy is not a threat. But if the guy was running towards you and you shot him when he was two meters away, then it justifies. 
Because the guy... Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, Ntlantla. I think I, I get your point. I agree with you. Uh, let's get Scarlo Simon to complete his point. Scarlo Simon, yeah. then what happened? Yeah, yeah. But Ntlantla is right. No, 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 no. You, you know what, uh, Pratin? I was charged because of... how You know, while I was paralyzing the guy, I was not using my own gun. That's why I was charged because of I was not using my own firearm. If I was using my mm -hmm. own firearm, then everything, you know, would, would have been okay. But now, each so, incident, well, they used someone's so, firearm, yeah. and that firearm, early, when they did the ballistic test, by the time they test about that gun, that firearm, it yeah. had so many incidents. Because of those okay, guys. So you were, let's understand. So you were prosecuted, uh, were you convicted, or were you discharged? No, no, no. Casey Ena, you know, I don't know where, you know, it's been going on for over five years. There is nothing, nothing, it has drained me. There is nothing like, like, like I'm just drained. I'm attending court, Katawa A1. Sometimes this person you own a higher in the in. It's been going on for over five to six years, KCA. They, 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 they are not even coming that decision to say you, you you know there is no case here because of I was defending myself but they are busy persisting I was used I used someone's firearm and that firearm is linked to many criminal activities okay I get that and how did you disarm the guy and end up taking his gun how did you do that I'm uh, um, easy, uh, 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 that is why I get that guy when he was pointing a gun at me. I could see who I own. I don't got the chance. I could see who yes. they were holding the gun. I, 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 I was calm because of you know what? When you go to this martial arts school, they teach you. They teach you uh, 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 to be disciplined. So, 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 yeah. The rest is history. But okay, don't know. No. But I did disarm the guy and the Katila guy, guy, and what pillar is fine. Actually, I did not kill. No, no, thank you, thank you, Carlos. But let me clarify what Ntlanta was saying, and he'll come and, he'll come and clarify it uh, himself. Uh, once you are able to disarm the guy and you've got his gun. Uh, guys, and that's the law. You you see this in many case laws. He's no longer a threat uh, to you. Uh, once you 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 are able to take that gun away from you, uh, he's no longer a threat. So shooting him can be another story. Uh, let's hope uh, if indeed your matter gets to court, uh, they they able to understand the reasons why you had to shoot him. So all the best uh, with that case, Kalosa. Yeah, no, no, Kishap, Kishap, ta. Sure, thank you. Uh, you never disappoint. <laughs> you never disappoint, Kalosa. Mwena, I can bet. Thank you so much. Eh? Thank you. All right, guys, we are sitting on 174K likes. Uh, there's over 900 people on this live. If only 700 people can double tap non-stop in less than one minute, we will be sitting on 200k likes. We've done this many times. We can do it now. So let's all double tap on the screen. I'm also going to be double tapping. Uh, only uh, 600 or 700 people double tapping non-stop. We're going to reach 200k in less than two minutes so let's double tap guys musa you can unmute your microphone musa you can unmute your microphone 
But then now. Musa, you can unmute your microphone. But then now. Musa, you can unmute your microphone. Let me remove him and see. Yeah, I think it's Musa's background. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Hunzi, please mute your microphone. And I wanted to him. I wanted to ask him a question. Yeah, Hunzi, please, please mute your microphone. He has requested again, brother. Oh. Uh, I can't mute, but I'll leave. It's okay, brother. And I think my points were were taken. It's fine. Oh, okay, unless, no problem. Unless you want me to say first, first before, then I can step down. Um, you can. You can. Okay, uh, good evening, everyone. I wanted to Thank mention you. when you started the live um, that I don't know if you guys have seen that in this case, there are actually three videos. Why? The first video that we saw was the one that uh, the guy, when when the firearm went off, uh, the cameraman got shy and he stepped out, right? And the yes. second one is the guy who's taking it from the top, I think, for co-flipping. Something yes. like that, and we can see when he gets to to hit. But my concern is that the stinger started from the pavement before it got to the car. I don't know if you've mentioned that before, but then it's a point that when we talk about the guy with the green jacket, that the patience from the guy was ups and the guy with green jacket, because this guy was being beaten, threatened from the pavement before they got to the scene at the on, on your background day. Before mm. that, but the guy was so patient enough to casually sit in the car, close the door up until the guy with the green jacket came in and opened the door, and that's when he started, you know. Mm. So it's a two-way story, but then every day, the patience was key from both the guy with the green jacket and the guy yes. who, who was sitting in the car. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know, Brenda, what you wanted to say, but it's, I'm out. No, I wanted to ask Musa oh, about... Okay. Yeah, a question. Thank you so much, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. Yeah, yeah. And thank you, guys. We've just passed 200 uh, K likes. Thanks for that. <laughs> Brenda, I can't see Musa on the list. Uh, uh, but I'll check him again. In San San, you can unmute the okay. microphone. Brody. The panel, uh, uh, guys on the comments. Uh, you know, when I first saw the first video, my wife uh, showed me this video. And and I uh, saw the three versions. Now, <clears throat> where this thing started, it's obvious that chaos did not start where we're seeing now at your background picture. It started somewhere. Yes, but I believe those do not play a role in 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 in, in the conviction or determining the case. So I see uh, criminal psychology playing, uh, taking a huge chunk of 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 the decision making by the judge. Yes. Whilst the SAP guy, the guy who's in the car, might have grounds, there's also a trend in audio of him explaining to himself. Now, the question would be, was he explaining to a friend or was he making a public statement, of which I doubt he would? Yes. Now... The, the laws, the firearm laws are the same, whether you're a policeman or you're a civilian. The mm -hmm. firearm laws doesn't favor or have alternative to say when you're a policeman, this is how you, you must act. Or yes. if you're a civilian, you must act, you know? 
Yes. Firearm laws are firearm laws. Doesn't matter you are a policeman, you are a civilian. So looking at the video, and I, I, I would assume that's the video that's behind you. Yes. If you look in the guy sitting in the car, and you look in the guy wearing a white t-shirt, both of these guys don't have the anger to make a shot. Yes. Uh, and one obstacle is the guy <clears throat> trying, of which I think is trying to maintain peace. Yes. The guy in the green jacket. Now he's an obstacle to the guy outside. As much as he might be an obstacle to the guy sitting inside, the guy sitting inside doesn't have a feasible position to make a shot. Yes. The only feasible position he has is when there's something in between the windscreen and the door. Yes. Now, one would argue to say, this guy slapped the mediator twice in yes. bar. He slapped yes. him twice. Yes. Now the question as prosecution would pose is, what would be the end result if the guy decided to retaliate? Oh. It means he would have shot both of them in. Yes. Now, the guy in the car, as somebody who needs to upload the law, would he be in a position to say, this guy is shooting this guy, I must be able to neutralize the situation that he doesn't shoot him further? No. Because, because the other one is outside and he has... He position in his favor, mm. you know, where he can react for our reflexes would be faster than the guy sitting in the car. Now, when you hit somebody like this, and I've got a firearm and I don't have a position, the best thing to think for for me is to get a perfect position before he reacts. Mm. Now the guy sitting in the car, because there's no position between him, the mediator, and the uh, and the guy. May his soul rest in peace. And the condolences to the family. We're not taking pride in in one step. Mm. So he goes in front. Where now the guy sitting in the car has position. And now the understanding is this guy has drawn a witness and has been asking for me to come out of the car. Me coming out of the car he would have gained a position to make a shot. So now he's coming here, Uzapambi. He has drawn a firearm. So that means I need to shoot first because the threat is imminent it's fatality it's a gun and my shooting doesn't mean i can't shoot the, the shoulder i have no time to aim mm. because if i miss this guy is going to take me out so in short the guy might have the best argument that favors him. Mm. But there's an audio I am talking about that is trending. Yes. Which was a bad mistake from this guy because prosecution may use it against him. I think it was doing it for I think it did it for someone. And my understanding is he was sharing with somebody. And whoever he was sharing with took that, uh, that audio and made it public. Which now may work against the SAP guy. 
That is why even now the SAP guy is not arrested. So, so if, 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 if in the court of law, and this is what the guy says, this guy was waiting for me to come out of the car so that he can shoot me. Now, prosecution may say, so if you know what he was not going to shoot you in the car, why did you make a shot? Because you understood the threat was out of the car. You know, but those are dynamics uh, the, that the court may, 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 may play. However, oh. you, might not, you can never say what this guy will win the case, especially with that audio recording. But believe me, if that audio recording was not there, there's no sufficient evidence that this guy did not act in self-defense. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my take. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Thank you. Thank you. Blessing. Dumela, Dumela. Um, thanks for, for, for allowing me to, to speak. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to try and be quick, but I'll start off by saying uh, from where I'm sitting, this self-defense argument is questionable at the very least. Um, mm -hmm. Probably most of us would have done the same thing, but we're talking about a, 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 a subs officer who is trained in disarming people. There were many opportunities where this guy could have executed some of his training to try and disarm uh, as we see. So I think the, 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 the judge might look at the merit that this guy has got a background or at least a training in, in, in self-defense. So when you look at where this thing started, it started across the street, where mm. where 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 they were they were squabbling across the street at the pavement. So to claim self defense, probably bless, out of bless, bless you. So let me interrupt you. Somebody's making a comment here, which is very interesting. He says yes. they are both trained. Yes, they are both trained, absolutely. But the subs guy is also trained in disarming as well. That does not take away, just because your opponent is also trained, does not take away from the fact that you are also trained. So to whitewash this and say that and treat it as if they are normal civilians, it, it, it doesn't hold water. They are both trained. But mm -hmm. more to my point on that, um, it doesn't, there's no balance because you, to say that you were fearful for your life, we're talking about someone who walked away, who turned his back, and he walked away and crossed the road to go fetch his gun, right? Mm -hmm. So even if the self-defense stands, there's the issue of the fact that he kept his gun in the car, which you're not supposed to do. So he might even lose his job for that. You're not allowed to keep your gun in. Your gun is supposed to be on you or it's supposed to be at home in a, in a safe. You can't keep your gun in a glove department or under the, the, the steering wheel or wherever he, he might have kept it. It's not allowed. Blessing, do we know, as a matter oh. of fact, that he left his gun in the car? Is there yeah. a fact that is out there that is known? I will agree that I'm assuming on that, right? I will agree That's that I'm assuming in that. However, he turned his back and he walked mm -hmm. away. That's the thing. But another thing that we all have to agree on, we are also assuming here, guys, that the attack was imminent. To say that the attack was imminent, that is an assumption. And a lot of people are sitting in jail now for preemptive firing. A lot of people are sitting in jail for firing just one bullet, never mind six. Yes, there's no law against six, but a lot of people are sitting in jail for preemptive uh, 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 um, shots that they made because of an assumption that the, 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 the threat was imminent. By the way, how do you quantify a threat when the gun is not being pointed at you? 
So, yes, I could be wrong, but if a prosecutor is put in a position to, 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 to take this case further, definitely they'll be asking such questions. Then my last point um, um, that, that I just wanted to, 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 to cover, um, we, we should be careful. Taking out a gun doesn't mean that you're going to use it. A lot of people take out their gun just to provoke. This guy was mm. clapping, he was shouting. Surely a trained subs officer can see that this is about provocation, it's about bravado, more than it is about actually being shot. And then I was talking about the voice the, the voice note. This guy said to he said in the voice note, he kept on saying he, he must come out of the car. He must come out of the car. As if to say that if he comes out of the car with the gun, then Sibusiso mm -hmm. will be justified in firing. You understand? So if I come out of the car with a gun, that means Sibusiso is would be justified. So it, it seems like Sibusiso was egging on the subs officer to fetch his gun so that the, the threat can be equated and then Sibusiso can fire. But that didn't happen. Unfortunately, it ended like that. So yeah. yes, I, I, I could be wrong, but I think the self-defense argument has a lot of questions that we must honestly look into. Okay. All right. Thank okay, you. Thank blessing. You. Thank you. Blessing. Okay. Thank you. As you as you go away, blessing and uh, listening on the radio. Uh, let me clarify. You just said something very interesting that the attack was imminent. The definition of self-defense include imminent threat. It says the attack must have commenced or it must be imminent. So whether the attack had commenced or uh, it was imminent, you would be justified uh, to act in self-defense. So you, you do acknowledge, placing that that attack was imminent and that definition is covered by the law. So as soon as you are able to make a, a decision that the attack is imminent, the law allows you to defend yourself. And again, let me repeat what the courts have said, uh, blessing, and for the benefit of those who have not heard this. This is the case of Nene versus the state, guys. Uh, this was a Peter Marisberg case uh, where Mr. Nene was convicted by the magistrate court and he appealed to the high court and the high court turned down his uh, appeal. And this is what the judge said uh, when defining self-defense. The court should then ask whether a reasonable person would have acted in the same way in those circumstances. A person who suffers a sudden attack cannot always be expected to weigh up all the advantages and disadvantages of his or her defensive act and to act calmly. A person who is facing danger, according to this judgment, cannot be expected to weigh up the advantages or disadvantages. So we could not expect that guy in the car to weigh up disadvantages or advantages of shooting. Mm -hmm. His life was in danger. The mm -hmm. attack had commenced or it was imminent. So he had to defend himself. And the judge, saying the same judgment, said that kind of a person has got only a few seconds to make a decision. So we can't be armchair critics uh, and say he should have done this, he should have been, he should have driven. He had seconds, there was a gun that was being touted and Shansha said something very important. One of the reasons probably he couldn't shoot, the, the, the guy in the white t-shirt could not shoot, was simply because he did not have a clear position. The guy who was wearing the jacket was disturbing him. That's why he wanted to take that one out of the car. 
Otherwise, if he tried to shoot him while he was in the car and the jacket guy was there, uh, he was not going to get a clean shot and SAPS was going to have time to react. So when you say eminent uh, blessings, you take, you're talking about the definition of self-defense. So he was justified, uh, or at least in our views, uh, he would have been justified. Musa, you've been waiting for too long. Let's hear if we can hear you this time. Brendan, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Brenda, before I'm Musa good. speaks, I'm gonna put three more people and please can you moderate for me? I'm hungry, I haven't eaten. Not a problem, Brendan. Yes, All right, sure. This is Brenda, how are you? I'm good, and you, Musa? I'm very good, man. I'm just gonna give my small contribution. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people asking why six shots? Yes. Six shots when you when you are out I, I, I also carry a firearm. So you can put it on a single action or a double action. Where it means on a single shot you just shoot once and you read you need to recock the gun as well. And mm -hmm. when it's on a double double action, it shoots if it's a fifteen magazine, it take out all fifteen out. On a double action. That's one thing. Condolences to Mr. Spusi. So I think we, we, we never, we, we, we mustn't um, be proud of death. Death yes. is death, and there are kids, families that are actually affected by the death of um, Mr. Spusi. So, yes. And another thing is, you know, the problem that we, we actually having is we, 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 Normally think if you are carrying a firearm, you are now special than thee, than anybody else, of which we are not. If you go to, to, to the school where you actually graduate uh, to, 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 to have a firearm, they will tell you that you, you, if you are carrying your firearm on you, it has to be concealed that nobody will see that gun. Um, another thing is you mustn't just, because there are people who are looking for that gun to use it for mischievous things. So you are also a target, whether you're carrying a firearm or not. So firearm um, laws are very, very compulsory, whether you're a police officer or you're a civilian. So in this case, they, 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 I'll, I'll go spiritually. There are times that we argue with people uh, and our 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 amandos were to they will be standing. They are talking to each other in that process of argument, whereby your your ancestors are saying, "But can you see what your son is doing?" Or you understand that 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 kind of a thing. Then there is a point whereby your ancestors will look down upon you and say, "I know we're walking away." And that's when you get to a position, to, to, to a situation whereby you'll be like, Spusi, so getting shot, of which I'm not proud or I'm not. It, it's very sad. And another thing is not everyone who actually walks away from us in, 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 in a situation are actually scared of us. Sometimes the, the, the are things that we, 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 we follow and at times we follow our death because we we want to be heroes or we want to impress people and forgetting that people walk away at any time and they will leave you there then there's nothing that is gonna be like you know nothing that you're gonna gain there and talking about our police officers as well our police officers as well um the, after our police officers as well, after getting the um, train, Something is...
Yeah, I think, yeah, I think when, yeah, when he gets a call, uh, his phone creates an echo. Mm. All right, I've removed him. Uh, I think the, the next person can come in. Thank you, Puseleto. But then you, do we still have a long list? Yes, let me check. Very long, 31 people on the list. Okay, people just need but, to be a little bit patient. Yeah, but I think most of them are those that would have requested by mistake. People should just let us, you know, indicate to us if yes. it's by mistake. Yeah. Or uh, Tumelo, okay, Tumelo, you can come in so long. Are you done eating, brother? No, I haven't started. I had I had that oh. uh, background challenge here, yeah, Musa. So I came running. Okay, not a problem. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, uh, we can. Okay. Yes, hello. Okay. Yes, it's finally, finally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, it's over the past a uh, couple of weeks. I guess I want to leave the video to go to go American, especially the stuff that is to do with uh, owning a firearm. Um, I guess I will leave this one to a given to leave a self defense and also. Uh, more booking, it also states for the, uh, the use of firearm ne? includes honsa, like just putting out a gun, whether you're pointing a gun to someone or not, but just putting out a gun. Or oh, America is a brandishing, just showing yeah. someone who has a gun for a nut, you can go to jail for that. And then, mm. uh, uh, Three or four videos of this uh, uh, incident, you know? and one incident, one of the videos, it shows, um, it looks like the car was uh, moving out. That the Ogaro owner was like he was trying to get away. But nobody talks about it. Everybody says he could have been a bigger man and walked away and all of that. But nobody. Um, comments on the fact that uh, they can't like in Ithama, you understand? And I also want to comment the guy in the green jacket, nobody talks about that guy, who was trying no. to de-escalate the situation. La, 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 la mm. money did. La money did no. talk about him. Yeah. Well,